Do you have an explanation to, for the court? Can you prove you had nothing to do with the Shimari, even, even though you, you tapped her phone? I'd like to see her pull that off. Mr. Lawyer, I saw that evil, evil grin. You were probably thinking that I'd like to see her pull that off, weren't you? How the fuck did you know? Damn, she's good. Well, you're not the first man to have thought that, and of course, I can and I will. You can't be serious. No way. Way, I say. Way. Oh, and I assure you, I'm serious, Mr. Lawyer. Huh. <laughs> okay, so the killing happened around 9 p.m. and 9 o'clock, right? Why, that's just when I was getting room service from that sweet bellboy. Room service? Iced coffee, I believe it was. Iced coffee, you know, like normal coffee, but cold. If you don't drink it quick, then the ice melts, and you have regular cold coffee. Hey, iced coffee? I think I'm... You think I'm making this up? Ask the bellboy. Ergo, oh the witness was not on the scene of the crime at the time of the murder. Ugh. But she still tapped the phone. Shoulders, where does that leave us? It is my great displeasure to inform you that the witness appears to have been tapping the victim's telephone. However, that is a separate crime with no bearing on the current case whatsoever. The testimony stands. She saw the defendant, Maya Faye, commit murder. No, oh, they're going to let her go. We'll just walk away. There's no way I can win this unless I tie Miss, Ma Miss May to the murder somehow. Well, does the defense have anything to say? Um, well, um, think of something. Call the bellboy as a witness. The defense would like to call the hotel bellboy as a witness. There's something suspicious there. I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I think you've sunk in quite low enough already. I object to calling the bellboy. Why? What's your reason? Because I hold that the wiretapping had nothing to do with the killing. However, if you agree to one condition, I'll consent to calling this witness. Condition? If Miss April May's alibi is not called into question after you examine the bellboy, then you will recognize that Miss April May was not the killer, thus she is innocent. Therefore, you must accept the vic verdict of guilty for Miss Maya Fay. That is my condition. What? I'd better find something suspicious in that bellboy's testimony. I want to marry. I will be declared guilty on the spot. What should I do? I need to accept the condition. Risk reward. Fortune favors the bold. All right, I've got nothing to lose except for, well, everything. Understood? I accept your condition. Huh. <laughs> Fool. You fell right into my trap. You activated my trap card, Yugi boy. Oh. Very well. The court calls the hotel bellboy to the stand. <sighs> I believe we're ready for the witness to testify. He certainly does look like a bellboy. Why is he still carrying the tray? Yes, sir. Received your summons in the middle of work, sir. I'm happy to be of service. That tea set looks rather heavy. Uh, our tea set looks rather heavy. So, without further ado, the witness may begin his testimony. Very good, sir. <sighs> ah. 
I am the head bellboy at the fine Gatewater Hotel in business for four generations. I believe I received a call after 8, p 8 o'clock in the evening from our guest, Miss May. She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her room at 9 o'clock on the, on the dot, sir. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course, and I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May herself. I see. The defense began its cross-examination. Right, I'm ready. I hope this is it. I can can't prove Miss May was. If I can't prove Miss May was involved, murder now. May, may will be finished. I will. <clears throat> okay. Why was why was she call him up at eight to have him be up at exactly nine? She needed that alibi to prove that she was innocent. So that way, the true criminal would go free, and she would be the witness. Sure, it was Miss May on the phone. Absolutely, sir. How can you be so certain? I checked Miss May personally, sir. Not only did I see her, all her stunning radiance. Mm. Oh, sorry, I had to slap myself. Um, not only did I see her in her all her stunning radiance, but I also heard her voice. And I saw them, and I... <clears throat> the point being, I remembered her quite well, sir. It was damn tedious, wasn't it? <clears throat> yes, what then? She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at 9 o'clock on the dot, sir. Oh, but... Nine on the dot, you say? Yes, I confirmed that detail several times. She was watching a program on TV and watched what wished to drink after she finished, sir. Nine o'clock. The time of the murder. I brought it to her I brought it to her precisely the requested time, of course. Precisely nine o'clock then. Precisely, exactly, and most definitely, sir. 9 o'clock p.m. How can you be so sure? Miss May was quite insistent that it be brought then. Oh, bellboy, tee hee. I'd like, like, iced coffee at exactly 9 o'clock. Something like that, sir. Therefore, I knocked on her door at the crack of 9 o'clock, sir. Why did she be so particular about the time? To prove her alibi. So she didn't do the murder. But she needed an alibi to prove that. <clears throat> Are you sure it was her? Absolutely, sir. Absolutely? Yes, sir, as in so very absolutely, sir. It's an endearing mannerism of mine. How come you're so very certain? Well, when I brought the room service, sir, she, I guess, sir, favored me with that uh, embrasure, sir. Embrasure? that French for embrace? It's French for kiss, sir. But not a French kiss, sir. More of a peck on the cheek. Why would she do that, then? I believe perhaps she was momentarily swayed by my prim demeanor, sir. It is a moment I shall never, never forget, sir. Sounds pretty fishy to me. 
I think our Miss May was up to something. She wanted the bellboy to remember her. Hmm. I believe it was a bit tedious. The witness may leave the stand. This happen. Protest. Wait, please wait. Yes? What does the defense have to, something to add? One nice question. Let me ask one last question. Your Honor, I must object. This charade of justice has gone on long enough. Now, now. Uh, now, now, Mr. Edgeworth. All right, Mr. Wright. I'll give you one more question, that is all. Okay. This is, this is really it now. This is my last chance. What do I ask him about? Okay. Room service, bed making, check in, I think the last option was. Okay. Check in, room service, bed making. Okay, I think bed making, that's the odd one out, so I'll put that one off to the side for a moment, so that way I can focus on the other two and come to a conclusion. Okay. Check in. What would that have to do with anything? That one's sticking out to me, so... Then again, I still have all five tries, so... Even if I mess up twice, I'm still good. So... Unless this is literally just a one-time shot. Oh, boy. Um... Actually, I'm going to end this recording here, and then start it up again right exactly here. I'll be right back.